Hey y'all, what's up? This is your boy Evan. Welcome to the Cartoon Block. Today we're talking to Ruben Morales, cinematic artist on God of War 3. And he's going to tell you guys how to get a job in the video game industry. Get back here in a few seconds and check it out. I've been drawing since I was actually like in kindergarten, so probably about three, four-ish. I was a big Batman kid at the time, so I drew a lot of Batman, uh, Gremlins, Power Rangers, Ninja Turtles, pretty much a lot, of, a lot of the cartoons that were at the time. After graduating from junior high, me and my mom had went to the high school because they were showing off um, like the electives that you can take for when you, when you first come into high school. There was this elective that that was uh, media arts and animation. So I signed up for it and I took it and it was pretty much flash animation and then there was also 3D that they had, 3D Studio Max, uh, a very good 3D program that a lot of companies use out here in the industry, either in movies or in games. While I was in my fourth year of teaching as a senior, my cousin who had already been in the same class he graduated, he went to college, and he was telling me about this college that he went to called Art Institute. And that got me into going to where I wanted to go to learn to school, which is Art Institute. And that's where I, I went to for college. I graduated from there with, with a Bachelor's of Science in Media Arts and Animation degree. Uh, so while, while in school at the Art Institute, I learned a bunch of programs. Uh, they all range from 3D to 2D and even compositing software. So the main ones that I use are 3D Studio Max, uh, Maya, uh, Photoshop, ZBrush, uh, Adobe Premiere, uh, After Effects are the ones that I use almost on a daily basis, whether on my free time or at my job, which my degree got me. During my third year of college, uh, I was working on my portfolio and I actually got my first job at that time. My teacher had saw that I was working so hard on my portfolio, my demo, which is what we call it, is all our work that is our best work that we can put together. And he was like, hey, uh, you ever heard of a game called Vigilante 8? I was like, yeah, I've heard of it. He's like, yeah, I'm working on it right now at Isopod Labs. Uh, we're making Xbox Live arcade game for it. I was like, oh, that's cool. He's like, yeah, would you like to be interested in that? I would be happy to work with you. Yeah, man. He's like, all right. And he shook my hand. He's like, I'll see you Monday. I was like, cool. And I got the job as an uh, environment artist, uh, creating uh, props, assets, uh, things that you see in the world, stuff that doesn't really move, but more like hard surface things like this, like tables, chairs, uh, buildings, stuff like that. After I was uh, working at Isopod, a friend of mine uh, had got the art test to work at Sony on God of War 3. So at the time he had come up to me for help on his art test, a little homework assignment if you want to call it. So basically an art test is to show, show the studio you can match what they do. My friend was able to do that, I helped him out with it, he got the job. So we were all like, dude, congrats, man, that's awesome. You got, you got work on God of War 3, dude. I, I can't wait for that game to come out. That's an awesome game. So then about a month goes by and he comes up. He's like, hey, man, I want to say thank you very much. You helped me get my job. And to repay you, I want to get you a job at God of War 3. And I was like, no way, dude. And he's like, yeah, they're hiring. I vouched for you. They brought me in for the interview. They, they liked me. I met with all the environment guys. So they're like, after Christmas vacation, we'll give you a call. So I was like, all right, cool. Christmas vacation happens. I'm just like, I don't care about Christmas presents. I just want that job. So then Christmas ended, New Year's happened, and I get a call uh, the day after New Year's and they're like, you're hired. Can you start next Monday? So I was like, cool. So the next Monday rolled in, I went in. Uh, and started my job at God of War 3 Sony uh, as a cinematic environment artist. Uh, what that means is I basically built anything that was in a cinematic, cinematic meaning when the, the game cuts to something else that a player has no control over, that's what, that's what I'd be doing. I was using Maya, Photoshop, ZBrush, uh, After Effects, so I used all those. and. Doing all those, I was able to do videos such as stuff like this. 
So pretty much I make the environment that Kratos is in, that he walks around, that he interacts uh, wherever his foot steps. I gotta make sure that that grass flows nicely around his foot and nothing clips through like a ghost. So if you're in high school or you're in college still trying to figure out what you want to do and say you want to become an environment artist uh, on any kind of game, you're thrilled about games or even movies uh, and you want to you want to do something and you want to know how to do it, be very critical of your work. Look at everything. Don't just go to the latest Toy Story movie and be like, oh wow, that's this, this is a cool movie. Look at everything. Look at how their textures, look at how they're modeling, look at how their animations. Try and find faults and stuff. Go to Avatar, go watch Avatar and try and find something bad in it. I tried and for me knowing as much as I know in the industry, it was pretty hard to find stuff. Only little minimal things. Everything's got something bad in it and if you can find those bad things, that's cool because then that'll show you when you do your own thing, you know what to fix in your stuff. So for everybody out there that wants to do what I do as environments and backgrounds, you want to do that, you want to match everything that you see. You go outside and you start drawing the streets, a building, the, the plants, anything that you see outside. Just start, start drawing it, see if you can match it really well, and if you can, that's the first step to being a really good artist.